Guys, how you doing? It's Philly Man here. Uh, yeah, it's just a quick video, a uh, new video, because I wanted to test this out, see how it does, see if it does all good. Um, I just watched the whole the the press conference and the recap from um, uh, Fallout 4's perspective, so Bethesda, sorry. And I've got to be honest, I was actually quite impressed. I'm quite pleased with the things they're going to be doing, the, the route they're going to be taking certain games uh, and franchises down. One big announcement that actually got me all hyped up, uh, got me all excited, like super excited because i remember playing the the original years and years and years ago and um they just announced like uh they're they're doing a remake of that but we'll we'll, we'll get into that we'll get into it don't worry about it uh the other thing uh, i wanted to mention about the whole thing is they're doing the fallout uh fallout 4 they did announce is they're doing fallout 4 dlcs um which one of them i think, think it was called contraptions which is it's it, again it's you know it's like uh like the workbench situation is you, you you can create uh different items and things like this and one of the things it did uh did show you that you can make is like conveyor belts and uh, that's it hold on check this out welcome here to bethesda game studios it's amazing to think it has only been a year since you first heard about fallout 4 at this very event and thanks to you, it became not just our most popular game ever, but one of the industries. It has simply blown us away, and we're incredibly blessed to have fans like you. Seeing what you've created, not just in the main game with the add-ons and, of course, mods, it is just incredible. And we're not done yet. We're excited to show you what's coming next for Fallout 4. Of course, we didn't just announce Fallout 4 last year, we also announced and released Fallout Shelter, which over 50 million of you have downloaded and played. We have a really big update coming out. Take a look. So yeah, so as you can see, they uh, they did the whole Fallout 4, showing you the different contraptions you could make whilst having that weird woman caught in stocks, and then the thing dropped on her head. Don't really know what that's about, but <laughs> but sure. Um, yeah, the other thing they also, as you notice, as they were talking about, is they showed the uh, the Nuka World, which I've got a feeling it's going to be obviously another. Uh, it's going to be another campaign expansion type thing. Um, the the interesting thing about that is that. I believe, well, well, what I think about it is that they're going to be taking it in the direction that that's going to be another campaign sort of focused drive. But I think it's going to be like a theme park type thing that's now all shut down. That's my view from what you can see with the mascots and the two sort of one entrance and one like an exit kind of thing. Um, so, yeah, that, that, that to me looks really interesting. I'm not so bothered about the whole, the, um, the, 
the, the workbench part of it. I'm I, I just I'm not a huge fan of the the different things you can create. I mean, I like when I, when I played it. I like building my home. I like building all the little bits to go in the home. I thought that was that was absolutely awesome. But yeah, just not really uh, a big fan of the whole uh, yeah build conveyor belts and things like that. That wasn't really my cup of tea. Wasn't a big fan of that. Um, another thing that they did talk about is which I can't really give much. Uh, much information about mainly because I've never actually played it or anything like that because I'm not a big mobile gamer but they did talk about Fallout 4 um, the well Fallout Shelter that that mobile app game thing where you can create the different levels of things and then you can have your people go in or something like this uh, apparently there's going to be a big big expansion coming for that some of the things it looked kind of interesting I like the style of the art style they kept it very sort of uh, Pip-Boy-esque which is good which I quite like that that was good uh, what else did they talk about? The uh, yeah, that oh, that was another thing they talk about. Check this out. There is something else though that you've been asking us about, and yes, we've been working on it. So yeah, then you're back. I know, quite quite interested, quite interested. I know I liked the idea of uh, actually having a Skyrim uh, remaster. It's going to be interesting how they're going to implement mods into it now, though, um, because there's just there's so many, and obviously all of the ones have already been created. Um, I don't know if they're going to allow you to implement that into the new remastered version or how they're going to do it, because obviously it's going to have gra graphical updates and things like that. So that'll be interesting. That'll be really interesting. Uh, and the game that I'm super duper like super pumped about is it's the remaster of Prey. Now I don't know if you remember play, uh, playing Prey at all, where you actually played the guy. I think his name was Tony or something. He was a Cherokee, uh, and the idea was that you get you got abducted by aliens and you had to fight your way off of this alien ship. So, but it was it was the first game that implemented the idea of portals. So you'd go through one portal and come out at another area, but it'd come out at a different angle, or you'd go into one portal at one size and you'd come out another one and you'd be absolutely tiny or you'd be enormous. And um, So yeah, I absolutely loved the game. Uh, thought the story was absolutely fantastic and I waited forever for them to come out with a sequel, uh, but it went through absolute hell, like development hell and a load of nonsense happened with it and things, so I digress. But they've now just come out with, uh, they've announced that they'll be doing remaking the original one which should be awesome that's going to be really interesting but it's got more of a survival horror type feel which in all honesty i can see that that would actually that would suit prey down to the ground to be honest i think that's the perfect kind of way that you would uh you should be going with it so now that they're doing that that's good that is good it's got a very sort of um i suppose soma it's got a very very somery type feel to it that kind of thing but it seems like it's going to have a little bit more more kind of actiony orientated but at the, again at the same time survival horror so yeah that should be good i'm really looking forward to that that's going to be good uh one of the other things as well they were talking about is that the doom dlc is going to have two different types of renditions of dlc you're going to be getting free dlc so that's going to be obviously stuff you're not going to have to worry about paying any money for, which is awesome. We, we, we like free stuff. <laughs> but uh, you're also going to get, obviously, the paid DLC. So it's going to be interesting to see what you get for free, and what you have to pay for. I know that it's going to be, there's going to be like aesthetic things for your uh, your character's customizations and things like that in the actual, in the Doom multiplayer. And I know also that you're going to be getting, um, 
in in the actual multiplayer it's going to be new modes but i think the modes are going to be all uh they're going to be all that what you have to pay for pretty much you know you can't come you win some you lose some you know but i think that's good that's kind of good um they're also obviously don't don't worry they're going to be definitely releasing some kind of addition to the the, the campaign or like an addition to the story um, because you have to tailor to that side of it because there's obviously two factors to the uh, the game It's mainly campaign and the multiplayer side of it uh, Which yeah all looks good and um, I know they tell me they, they also spoke about Elder Scrolls Online um, Which I remember playing a while ago with uh, quite a bunch of friends and we absolutely loved it We really enjoyed it, but it kind of got to a point where you thought you were grinding too hard and then once you get past that point you just you you, you shoot up in the levels and they've said that they're allowing you now to go anywhere you want to do anything you like and pick up whatever missions you want but have all of the enemies take level to your character now what they mean by that you can go anywhere and do anything you like is how the story of the campaign works in um, in Elder Scrolls Online is that you complete the campaign through so you do the whole story and then something happens uh, at the end and then you get to the opportunity to have your your memory flash back to the past or something like this and then from there you can continue somebody else's campaign line on as there's three different factions you can change between the factions to do the campaigns in each one but obviously staying as your character with your your customizations and your things like that which is which is pretty awesome i liked that and and there was one else i think there was another announcement that they were discussing um that I actually found ex super super exciting, but um, I think yeah, I've got a feeling actually that that's 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 pretty much the precipice of what they were talking about. There were a few other things I can't quite remember now, um, as this is just quickly off the top of my head, uh, and I've, I've the stuff that I've been really excited and pumped about I've already discussed with you, so. Uh, <laughs> um, so yeah, let me know in the comments what are you what are you interested to see from Bethesda? Are you looking forward to anything that they've spoke about? What kind of game are you most interested in? Uh, what were you thinking that, that that is completely irrelevant? What do you wish that they would not focus on anymore? Um, I know that a lot of people about the old Elder Scrolls Online thing are just sort of like rolling their heads saying, "Oh, well, it's a dying game. It's finished. You you screwed the pooch on it." It's well, okay, it's, it came out badly, it was bad when it was released, but they're, they're, they're trying, and I think that's the good thing, is that they've got a good niche with it, and they're trying to work with it, which is it's good, you don't want to just uh, give up on it, because the fans that do play it, do deserve the attention, um, to keep it going. Yeah, so, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Uh, yeah, quickly before I go, actually, just um, just after I say goodbye, I want to give a big shout out to uh, a couple of people who have like been really, really supportive of my stuff. Uh, one is Adelaide. Uh, I can't, I'm not sure how you say the name, but <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much for all of your support. You've been an absolute legend. Uh, Ops Creed Games as well. He, you need to check out Ops Creed Games stuff because um, this guy is just he's, he's absolutely entertaining. He's awesome. And uh, I also want to give a quick shout out to uh, Guilt Summer Five One Nine Six, who um, she's actually doing a, a playthrough at the moment. She did a little part on Amnesia: Dark Descent. So, and uh, it's looking good. So, bitch, keep up that work. You better be doing the walkthrough for that because I want to see it. <laughs> and I know there's probably plenty of other people out there that want to see it too. Anyway, guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, you know the drill. If you like it, click like, drop your comments, and uh, subscribe. And let's see where it goes. Uh, take care, guys. It's Philly Man out.